Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully that I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do, so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being one of the being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time I just wanted to go into a mind state that these people have of uh, trying to come up against us and trying to, trying to, uh, well, basically not believe in scoffing and mocking. You see? Matter of fact, we'll start with that one. We'll start with that one. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 3 It says what Knowing this verse That there shall come in the last days Scoffers walking after their own lust You see and that's exactly what we see each and every week We go to the highways and byways man and bring out this word Scoffers coming up man I don't believe what you're saying This is that devil shit so forth and so on man That hey you're fulfilling prophecy Right it, by you even making That statement you are a scoffer You see we got this Clown that always comes by the camp been coming by for the last few years just scoffing man over and over and over again but 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 to say we don't have the truth to say that what we're saying is a lie he damn sure keeps coming back man because he knows deep in the spirit that we have the truth you see he was just set up in his life to be a scoffer man as is prophesied so second peter chapter 3 verse 3 says what knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and that's exactly what we see happening man it's not only him this is happening all throughout the world, man. Everybody's scoffing and mocking at this word, man. Everybody's scoffing and mocking of what we're bringing out of these scriptures, man. Why? Because they can't get it. Because it wasn't meant for the world to receive. You see? As it tells you, man. This is John chapter 14, verse 17 says what? Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. You hear that? So the people are not going to receive this word, man. They're not going to understand what we're saying out of these scriptures. It's a foreign language unto them. It's only for the initiated, man. You see, it's not for mere mortals. When you go into that word mystery, that's what it goes into, man. You see, not being for mere mortals. And everybody who, who is scoffing and mocking and talking shit against this word, you are a mere mortal, man. That's why you can't get it. It's only being, being given into the initiated, man. Which are, look at that stork, man. That's your pa. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, man, it's only been given to the uh, initiated, man. So everybody's not going to receive this word, man. Was, which lets us know that Christianity is a false religion. It has nothing to do with the scriptures. Because as we read in John 14 and 17, it says what? Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Why? Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, nor do, nor the heavenly father Yahweh, man. The world doesn't know the most. High. Look at the, the look at the fruits that these people in the world are pushing forth. They're pushing they're pushing forth nothing but wickedness, man. You see? Nothing but wickedness is being pushed forth. And why is that? Because they don't know the righteous ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because if they did, they would be pushing forth righteous works, man. You see? There would be no fucking uh, uh, abominable meats being eaten. There would be no homosexuality. There would be no lesbianism. There would be no transgenderism. There would be no feminism. There would be no adultery, no stealing, no robbing, no murdering, man. No war. There would be no uh, worshiping the false idols if these people really knew the Heavenly Father Yahweh. But since they don't, you see, they can't receive the spirit of truth. And what's that? That's these words that we're bringing out of this book in all truth and sincerity through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. They can't get it. Why? Because it seeth him not, neither know of him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. And this is why we know and understand what's written in these scriptures. Because the Messiah is dwelling in us, man. Yahweh Shah is dealing with us, man. You see? So it's getting to the point to where now, man, we don't, we don't, we don't, you, you scoffers, you, you 
walk through the shit talk, you will face us, man, because we know that's a part of the most high's will. As we just got out of Second Peter chapter 3, verse 3, read it one more time. Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Saying, and verse 4, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Because they don't see the word of the Most High coming to pass right away, they don't believe it. When we, we had this fucking uh, clown ass Edomite, we put a curse on him. Like, oh, nothing happened. Just wait. The Most High is letting it marinate, man. You see? He's letting it marinate. But best believe that curse that we put upon you is going to be answered, man. Because, like Yahweh Shah said, man, whoever fear one of these little ones, it was best for him to tie a millstone about his neck and cast himself, cast himself into the sea, man. So, you people are going to pay for everything. That you're doing out here and Especially when, you, when it comes to offending The man of the Lord and talking against the word of the Most High You're going to pay for that You see Let's get this real quick Let's go back to Romans real quick Romans 3 And 3 tell us what For what if some did not believe Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect And that's what these people really think Just because they say we don't believe Or I don't believe that this that, that that's not true They ain't gonna stop the, they ain't gonna stop the will of the Most High from playing out just because you don't believe. The most I don't care if you don't believe or not. You see? That just allows the most I to destroy you. And be, and be justified in destroying, destroying you, man. You see? Your unbelief, your your unfaithfulness to the Yahweh Shem is not going to change the true believers of the most High, man. See, we're not like the rest of the world. We're not doing this because it's a fad or it's a trend. We're doing this because it's a lifestyle. This is who we are. We are the Hebrew Israelites, man. And, yeah, and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh is our God. And that's who we serve. You see? We believe upon his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, in all truth and sincerity, man. So we're not finna just be shaken and stirred because you don't believe. You see? We ain't, we ain't out here put on the show. We ain't out here put on the front for nobody, man. You see? We ain't doing this to be seen inside of men. So when you got unbelievers that come up, that shit don't shake us, man. Because we wholeheartedly believe in his word. You see? Because that's what these people think. Just because they say, oh, I don't believe that that's not true, this and then the other. Bro, that shit doesn't move us, man. You're not moving nothing over here. We're firmly rooted in Yahweh Shah, man. You see? Verse 4 says what? Matter of fact, I read 3 again. Romans 3 and 3. What, what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Lord, for, Yahweh forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, and every man a liar, as it is written. That thou mayest be justified in thy sins and might overcome when thou art judged. And that's exactly what it is, man. And that's why we stick to the script. We don't talk about our own vain thoughts and opinions because, hey, we don't care about yours and the most I don't care about ours, man. The only thing that matters is the will of the Heavenly Father playing up. All that matters is the word of the most high coming to pass. That's the only thing that matters on this planet Earth. You see? The most I don't give a damn about anything else. The only thing that matters is his man preaching his word as he's told us to do through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. That's the only thing that fucking matters. The will of the Heavenly Father. And what he plans to do with this planet Earth and his chosen people led by Yahweh Shah. That's all that matters. So your unbelief doesn't shake us, man. You see? All that does is fuel our all that does is fuel our belief because the most I told us that scoffers would come. Because you ain't going to the Christian church with that bullshit. You see? You coming to us with it because we coming with that doctrine of the heavens, man. Just And, and, and right on time, just like the Most High said, you, you scoffers are right on time, man. You see? And it's all good. Because this is the result of scoffing, man. Especially for you Israelites. And that's and that, those are the main ones who scoff against. We don't give a damn about Esau scoffing. That nigga going to be destroyed and put in slavery regardless. It's you Israelites, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans who scoff against this word when this gospel was sent unto you to, to, to heal and, and, and mend your minds, man. But you scoff against it. So, hey, you're going to be destroyed right along with Esau punk ass, man. So this is 2nd Edges 15 and 1. We'll start at 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, say if Yahweh will buy Yahweh shot. And that's what we do. We speak the words the Most High gave us to speak. We don't do like a Christian pastor, man. You see, read one scripture and ran on for fucking an hour, two hours in the damn church. You see? We we constantly bring out scriptures, man. We go into highways and byways and scriptures come out, man. You see? Scripture upon scripture upon scripture upon scripture upon scripture. 
each and every time we go on the highways and byways and when we do these videos, man. You see? Showing you that we come in a different spirit than the Christians, man. They come out here try to battle us in the scriptures. They can't even pull scriptures out. Just talking from, from their own vain thoughts and imaginations. That shit don't hold no weight over here, man. The, what we're supposed to be doing is what? Speak, uh, Second Edges 15 and 15 says what? Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, say of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Let's get another one real quick. Let's stack some on top of that. Let's get Ezekiel chapter 3. Ezekiel 3 and 17 says what? Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. And that's what we're doing, man. You see? The most I has this man set up on the earth to teach. And we and we're and we're consuming his word constantly. Being fed with it so we can go out on the highways and byways and feed and, and, and give it to our people, man. And give them warning from the most high to tell them, tell them what the will of the most high is for the planet earth. What the will of the most high is for Babylon the Great. What the will of the most high is for Esau Eden, the so-called white race. And what the most high's will is for his chosen people, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is what we're doing each and every day, man. You see? Giving you insight into the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah by what? By preaching his words that he gave us to give unto you. That's what we're doing, man. So going back to 2nd Edges 15, 2nd Edges 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, say of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Second Edges 15 and 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Meaning what? Everything written in these scriptures is going to come to pass. Every prophecy that the most, because the most high is the first prophet, man. <laughs> you see? The most high is the ultimate prophet. He spoke all these things into existence before the foundation of the earth was even laid, man. He already had it laid out what was, what, what was about to take place on the earth. And he gave us the insight to know and understand these things. To do what? To preach them in the midst of all the people, man. So what? So the elect can be brought in. So they can escape this danger that's coming. Because everything that's written in these scriptures is faithful and true. Meaning what? Everything is going to come to pass, man. Hey, and let's get that real quick. Let's, let's get Habakkuk chapter 2. Matter of fact, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. And Yahweh Ba'a Shemi Ha'a Yahweh Ba'a Shemi Ha'a Shah answered unto Slaki. Habakkuk 2 and 2. And Yahweh Ba'a Shemi Ha'a Shah answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read of it. What is that talking about, man? The, the, the prophets of old received the visions and they wrote them down upon scrolls. So we can come in these last days and read it, go on the highways and byways and tell it to the people, man. Hey, what, what is that? Go tell it on the mountain, man. That's, that's the song that... Uh, that's the song they sing in the church, man. In the churches. And what are we doing? We, we're going to tell it on the mountain. What's the mountain, man? Babylon the Great. You see? Let me get that real quick. What is that? Uh, uh, I know it's Isaiah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Damn it. Yup. Yup. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 2. It says what? Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. What's that banner, man? These scriptures. What's that high mountain? Babylon the Great. Go tell it on the mountain, man. And that's what we're doing in the midst of our enemy's kingdom, man. You see? In great boldness. You see? What does it say? Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. You see that? And that's what we're doing. We're, we're rebuking you wicked ass people, man. That's what it means. Shaking the hand. You tell somebody off, man. You see? That's what we're doing. That it, then it says what? That they may go into the gates of the nobles. And we have reached the gates of the nobles, man. That's why you see everything speeding up the way it's speeding up. Because Esau is planning to come down having great wrath because he's hearing his truth. Now he's making haste to accomplish his goals, man. But it's all according to the will of the Most High. And we already know what the end of this man is going to be. Destruction, man. Destruction. Captivity for a thousand years. Then the ultimate destruction, which is the eradication of the so-called white race from the planet Earth. That's the will of the Most High for the Edomite. <laughs> You see, so let's read Isaiah 13 and 2 one more time. Lift you up a banner upon the high mountain, which is the scriptures, and we're upon the high mountain, which is Babylon the Great. Exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. And that's what we're doing, man. You see? 
telling you damn devils off. So Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2, it says what? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reading. And that's what we're doing. Our, our forefathers, you see our ancient brothers, our ancient forefathers wrote these scriptures down for us to, to come in these times and break it down. Beginning with our, uh, we beginning with the elder Abba Bivens, uh, high priest Arya King Masha, high priest Yaquab. Then it, it, it trickled down to who? Our current uh, apostles and elders, man. You see? The elder apostle Tahar, the elder apostle uh, Gabar, the elder apostle Rakan, the elder apostle Ramla, man. Then it trickled down to the elders of Connecticut, man. Salaki, I can't remember all y'all names, but say Salaki. But it, it trickled down to those elders, man. Then it trickled down to the rest of the brothers, man. And now what are we doing? We're running. And, 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 uh, we're running to the highways and byways and proclaiming his word, man. Verse 3 says what? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And that's exactly what's happening, man. No matter how much you scoff and you mock, these, these prophecies are still coming to pass right around you, man. You see, and, and the scary thing is you people can't even see it. But the men of the Lord, we see it, man. The true believers of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, we see these things coming to pass, man. And it will not stop until the Most High's will be fulfilled. You see? So Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 says what? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak. And it's we're at the end and it's speaking, man. Loud and clear. We see everything that the most I said is coming to pass, man. You see? But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, though it may seem like it's taking a long time, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And that's what we're doing, man. We're patiently waiting upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to bring all these things to pass. You see? And it, and it will happen, man. Let's get this real quick. Let's get Numbers 23 and 19. What does it say? Numbers 23 and 19, what does it say? The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Have he said it, shall he not do it? Or have he spoken it, shall he not make it good? Exactly, man. Everything the Most High has spoken, he's going to make good on it, man. If it came forth out of the Most High's mouth, best believe it's going to come to pass. The Most High don't give a fuck about you not believing. The Most High don't care if you, you scoff and you mock it. You see? Because at the end of the day, the Most High is going to get the last laugh. The Most High is going to have the ultimate, I told you so. Shit, and guess what? We're going to be we're going to be able to partake in that because he used us as mouthpieces to speak these words unto you, man. So we're going to be able to say, we told you so as well, man. You see? Let's get a few more on this. Let's get Isaiah 55 and 11. What does it say? So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it. So the most I the most I doesn't speak vain words as man does, man. You see? Everything the most I has brought forth out of his mouth, every word that he's spoken is going to come to pass, and it doesn't go out void, man. We always got these scoffs, but ain't nobody listening to you again. Guess what? That don't matter, man. What did the most I tell Ezekiel? Prophesy unto the wind. You see? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. That's Ezekiel 37. What does that say, man? Where is it? Yup. Ezekiel 37 and 9 says what? Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, man. You see? See, you people are, so, are, 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 are so, such a low level, man. You try to bring the Most High down to that level. The Most High is above everything, man. And, his, and, and, and with his words, they hold weight. They, they carry a vibration, man. So even if nobody's around, you see, and we're prophesying to the wind, guess what? That vibration is being carried out all throughout the earth. You see? And the Most High is going to bring whoever he needs to bring to the word so they can receive it. So that seed, that seed can be sold in their mind, man. That's that's the that's the that's the main that's the main point. Ain't nobody listening to you guys. Ain't nobody listening to you guys. Guess what? It's, it's for a small congregation anyway. It's for a small sanctuary anyway. It ain't supposed to be uh, crowds around the block trying to hear the prophets. You see? It shows you how how how, how low a level that you people are on, man. So Ezekiel thirty seven says what? Ezekiel thirty seven and nine. It says, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man. And say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, slain 
that they may live. And that's what we're doing, man. We're speaking this word and that vibration is bringing in that those dry bones, man, which is the remnant of Israel. You see? The Most High is calling the remnant of Israel for out from amongst the congregation of the dead, man, which is the two-thirds of our people. You see? That's what's happening, man. The vibration of the Most High is going out, fulfilling the prophecy of what? Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. You hear that? So we don't speak these words in vain, man. They're doing exactly they're doing exactly what the most I need them to do. They're reaching exactly who the most I needs to reach. That's why I don't need no big ass congregation, man. All we need to do is put these videos videos up on YouTube, and that vibration goes out, man. And it's gonna go directly to who the most I needs to go to. You see, whether that be one viewer, two viewers, you see? Whatever, man. Whoever needs to get it, the most I is gonna make sure they get it. Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So everything that comes forth out of the most high mouth is going to be fulfilled, man. Point blank, period. You see? Let's get this real quick. Now I'll wrap it up on this one, man. Isaiah 46. Isaiah 46 and 8 says what? Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Talking about our people, man. You see? The remnant of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Get this message and wake up. It's time to return home, man. It's time to return to where we're supposed to be at, man. With Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Leave off in this world. Depart from this madness, man. You see this place? Hey, we have no place in this world. You see? Verse 9 says what? Remember the former things of old. What are the former things of old, man? The most, what the most I told us in the past, man. You got to go back into the prophets, man. The Old Testament, man. You see, you got to go back to the New Testament, man. Read, read these things, man, that were written aforetime for our learning. So it says what? Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high and there is none else. I am the most high and there is none like me. You hear that? There are no gods with the most high, man. Ain't no Jesus Christ in the heavens. Ain't no Buddha, no, Sh no Shiva, no Allah in the heavens, man. There's only one true living power. His name is Yahweh. You see? And the man, the, 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 the being that sits on his right hand is the one and true Lord and Savior of Israel, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. His true name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. You see? That's what it is. Verse 10 says what? Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isaiah 46 and 10, it says what? Declaring the end. You see, declaring the end from the beginning. So it was already declared. The end was already declared before the beginning even started, man. How America was going to go down, that was already declared from the beginning, man. It was already declared that the Israelites were going to rule on the planet Earth from the beginning of the world, man, before it was even established. And that's what's going to happen. You see, all this hell that's about to break loose here in, uh, in America, Babylon, the Great, that was already prophesied from the beginning. You see, that was already pro prophesied to happen from the beginning, and it will take place because the Most I said it would. So Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. You hear that? The Most High said he's going to do all his pleasure, man. Everything the Most High has prophesied. You see, the, everything that uh, Yahweh Shai came to speak, everything that Yahweh Shai has us on the highways and byways uh, speaking through the Holy Spirit, is all going to come to pass, man. It's all going to come to pass. Matter of fact, let's get this one too. Who will let? Hmm. Yup. Let me see what I want to start at. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's start at nine. Isaiah forty-three and nine. It says, "What? Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled." 
Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified or let them hear and say it is truth. And the only one who can, the only one who can declare the former things are the men of the Lord, man, the Israelites. You see? The prophets of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Verse 10 says what? Ye are my witnesses, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. My servant whom I have chosen, talking about the Israelites, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God formed. You hear that? The most high is the, 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 uh, the first thing to ever exist. He always existed, man. He was always there. You see? All this Jesus Christ, Buddha, Allah, all that, uh, Hindu, God, God and Shiva, all that BS is newly sprung up, man. That's new. The most high is from, hey, he's going to tell you. Says what? Neither shall there be after me, because he's the one true living power. Verse eleven: I, I, even I, am Yahweh, and beside me there is no savior. Now that that doesn't mean that Yahweh is not on the right hand of the Most High. You see, that means that the Most High has, he has, uh, he's the true, he's the number one savior, but he sets up men to save his people. You see, like a Moses. Moses was came in the form of a savior. Moses and Aaron, they were saviors. You see, Gideon was a savior. You see, the judges were, 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 hey, go read the book of Judges. Those were saviors, man. Yahweh Shah is the, old, hey, the ultimate savior up under the Most High. And the elect of Israel, the 144,000, are saviors to the world, man. You see, it just means everything runs through the Most High. Everything stems from the Most High, man. You see, he is the power source. That's where we get our power from. That's what that means, man. Verse 12 says what? I have declared. And, sa and have saved And I have showed When there was no strange God among you Therefore ye are my witnesses Saith Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah That I am the Most High Yeah before the day was I am he You see that? Before days <laughs> Were even in existence The Most High was already there man Yeah before the Before the day was I am he And there is none that can deliver out of my hand I will work And who shall let it You hear that? And that's what the Most High is doing, man. He's working on the earth. And who's going to stop him, man? You see? Who going to tell the Most High he can't do what he, what he, what he ordained to do? Who going to tell the Most High that his prophecies is not going to come to pass, man? We are only mere... Uh, we, are, we are only humans down here on this planet Earth, man. You see? So everything the Most High has said is going to come to pass. And who's going to stop it, man? No one. The Most High will not be made a liar. As it is written. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akiyam out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah is commanded you to do. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Wa, Abba, Baba.